How Americans get their electricity will largely be affected by the outcome of the upcoming presidential election. And we're getting a better idea of what a Trump energy policy would look like with the addition of his VP pick, J.D. Vance. The former president's new running mate has voiced a desire to get rid of the Inflation Reduction Act, President Biden's landmark climate law, even as both Vance's home state of Ohio and companies he's invested in have benefited financially from the legislation's clean energy funding. Vance has been critical in the past of carbon-free power infrastructure like wind and solar, accusing the Biden administration of subsidizing these renewables while demonizing what he says are the nation's most reliable sources of energy, oil and gas. Big Oil spent nearly $300,000 on Vance's 2022 election campaign, which ranked him the 19th highest recipient out of the 91 members of Congress who took money from this industry. A spokesperson for the Ohio Oil and Gas Association said they expect Vance to continue being an advocate for their business concerns should Trump win. And Vance's congressional voting record should give oil executives plenty of confidence that will be the case. Vance co-sponsored the Power Act in 2023, which would force the president to seek approval from Congress before delaying leasing or permitting for oil, gas, and mining on federal lands. He also co-sponsored the Stove Act, which aimed to block federal agencies from issuing rules that would ban gas stoves and other appliances, a response to the Energy Department's efficiency standards for appliances that were finalized this year. And a year ago, Vance introduced the Drive American Act, a bill which would repeal the Biden administration's $7,500 tax credits for American-made electric vehicles, instead offering those credits to U.S.-made vehicles powered only by gas and diesel. For more on how the 2024 election could shape the future of American power, download the Straight Arrow News app and sign up for alerts from me, Jack Almer, so I can keep you up to date.